Hey guys, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority, Chapter 3, Part 1, A. Part B should be coming, I don't know, within two weeks? Hopefully. Until then, let's continue on. Whiteboard, no clues here. Full documents. Medical supplies. Green's blank. Oof. Oh! I guess all high school classrooms look the same. A ain't this a school? Attending school feels like it was such a long time ago now. Yeah, I was thinking this was Sarah and Joe's school. Oh, this is a school bag. What's this? There's a piece of paper stuck to the blackboard. What's this? Consent form. I consent to... This thing. Whoa, what? What's going on? What's going on? What, what's the matter? This looks familiar. What in the... Where have I seen something like this? I signed... My name. KG? Uh, huh? That's right. Kana also signed her name. Whoa. Did they sign- Are they volunteers for like a medical experiment? What the- Everyone but me is- This is just like with Midori all over again. Are they remembering the past? Their memories with Midori? Ha, huh, see? Yeah. In that case, why am I not- I feel like- I've just stepped away from remembering something. I'm a step away from remembering something. But the important parts are all hazy. Maybe we'll find out if we proceed. Yes. Hmm. Oh, there's a green book. Sure sticks out. There's a bag on the desk. This is my school bag. For real? Should we look inside? Ramara opened the bag. Yo, what's this dog mascot thing? Sarah already has a dog mascot. That's... Ramar, could you let me have that? Huh? What the hell? Is it important? It's okay, KG. This is a memento my best friend wore. Well, since I did just jump straight into chapter 3, Gin didn't have a chance to give me the dog. Uh, c charm? Except, if he didn't give it to me, shouldn't Gin be the one who has it? Why is there another dog charm here? What? How mean-spirited to make a copy of it. Oh, here we go. Do you mean Joe? You know about him? I just heard a little bit. Mm-hmm, I see. Give it to KG. KG. Alright, I'll take it. Anything else? Okay. Looks like we're probably gonna split up again. Huh? Looking at the map, we've been everywhere on this floor. Hey! Where are you? Midori! Strange, we should have been everywhere. Is there somewhere we didn't go? Did he pass us and go down a floor? Did Midori pass us by and go down to the lower floor? There are two elevators, so that's not impossible. But wait, come to think of it, I feel like this floor 5 map is strange compared to floor 1. Uh, floor, floor 5 map is strange compared to floor 4. Yeah, there should be a room in the middle. Uh, it's this spot here. Yeah. Here it is. It has the same exact layout as floor 4, but there's no center room on floor 5. Maybe it's just not drawn on here. Hmm. A good theory. That seems like just the thing those puzzle-loving people would do. If it's the same layout as floor 4, there's only one room that connect to the center. 
The library. Uh, can I take this shit then? Guess not. Alright. If there's a center room accessible from this maze-like library, it'd be this way. Oh. There really was a room here. Midori ain't here? Messages are displayed on the monitor. Coffin control system. Blue, human, red doll, yellow, vacant. Why is there a human option? What is this? Can I can I look at it? Oh, dang it. A mess of switches and knobs. Hmm. No, don't touch them at random, Sarah. We all know what happened last time you did that. Uh, okay, the monitor displays uh the monitors display all the places we've been, like the cemetery and the police box. Whoa, this must be security camera footage. How creepy. This looks like a room for the floor master. A mess of switches and knobs. No, nope, fuck it. No good. Seems like nothing will happen unless they're used properly. <laughs> hey, Sarah, what you activate what you activated a trap doing that? What if you activated a trap doing that? I suppose that was a close one. Uh <laughs> Sarah. Sarah has that part of her personality, right? Where she's just super doesn't give a F. There's a collar on the desk. A collar? Is it Midori's car collar? Take it. Taint a collar. Mm, what if this is a trap? Won't it explode? Stop freaking out. We're taking it. If we can analyze it, we might even find out how to remove these things. And what if that makes them explode? Boom! Yeah! Stop screwing around, stupid! This ain't no time for a horseplay. Uh, well, it's dangerous. So let your friendly policeman take it, alright? We're giving him a lot of stuff. He's like the boyfriend that carries around the girlfriend's purse around. Ooh, the monitor turned red. What? So? Uh, you called? S so? Uh, good day. Uh, who are you guys? Oh. Don't startle me! Are you an AI? I'm Shinsukimi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Shinsukimi. So's real name. Um, do you need something? It's embarrassing with you all just staring at me. Uh, so... Do you know who Kana is? So... S sorry, I don't really understand. Who are you? Uh, how much do you know about the death game? Death game? What's that? That sounds dangerous. Doesn't seem to know a thing. Or he could be lying. That wouldn't be out of character for him either. <laughs> no, he's similar, but this isn't so. This is so before his personality cracked, right? This is probably a re-initialized AI, right? What do you mean? The AIs are brought closer to the real people by updating their knowledge and personalities. In other words, the so we're looking at is so from before the death game, who knew nothing. Or else, Shinsukimi, before he even took on an alias. What have you guys been talking about? <laughs> it's no use. We'll get nowhere like this. Even so, I want as much as we can get. So we would get to know the real Shinsukimi's personality. Is there anything? Um... Let's ask about Midori. Midori, that is, the real Sohiori. Please, tell us about him. This So you've been talking about, sure enough you meant Hiori, huh? Oh. We're actually acquainted, so we wanted to know a bit more about him. He's a scary friend of mine. Friend? I think it was in high school. 
I met him at school and we started talking. Oh. But whenever I looked in his eyes, I felt really restless. I was so scared, I started sweating. I got anxious. He really seemed to enjoy seeing me like that. Would you call that friendship? I only found this out later, but he wasn't even a student at my school. Whoa, that's so scary. Who he really is, I really truly know nothing. Though I learned a lot of things at his house. At his house? You had a long acquaintance, huh? Yeah, but he... One day, he died. What are you doing? Shit. Hey, feeling the bloodlust? Midori! <laughs> That's mine, don't you know? Now stop getting friendly with them, would you? S sorry, I I'll turn off right away. Now then. Say, could you return that collar to me? <laughs> Would it be a problem if you lost it? I mean, that's the collar I was wearing. Yeah, I knew it. Look at his bare ass neck. I wanna cut it off. It'd be so lonely if I was the only one safe. Fudge you, dude. There's no reason to give it back. The fact he could remove it might mean we could do the same if we inspect this. Sheesh. That's a collar for the dead. It's made completely different from your collars. A collar for the dead. So Gashu was a doll after all? And he's not really dead? Because the thing is, after he shot himself in the main game, I was like, are we sure he's dead? Because it... I don't know. It felt suspicious. Sigh. Oh, way. Oh, well. I guess I'll use a sp You put it on yourself? Are you out of your mind, man? But also... These guys have collars like Sarah and the other quote-unquote living participants. Right now, I don't know what that means. And talk about cocky. Aren't you scared to enter the enemy's camp? Oh, I'm scared. That's why I got a gun. It has four bullets. Say again? Don't worry. If you win, you can cheerfully advance to the next floor. But I'll try my best to make it one shot, one kill. I want to talk to... Uh, take at least four people with me. Now, shall we? Are, are we really doing this? Fight! Fight! We'll fight. We'll settle the score here. Remember, our allies' regrets. I can't let this guy... Why can't I walk forward? Do I still not have the resolve to kill him? by my own hand? Can't we do it another way? Eh? Violence is just worthless, isn't it? Let's establish rules and fight for our lives. Right then. Then why don't we play tag? Midori took something from his pocket and pressed a button. Huh? person with the red light is it. A thing like this again? After exactly one hour, the person who's it loses. Nice and simple, isn't it? If you don't want to lose, just tag someone. Oh, shit. Wait. Still questions? Uh, um. Say it clearly. Will tagging someone really transfer who's it? It won't just multiply. Uh, why don't you try it out? Wait! Let's go after him, Sarah! We have to give chase. Shit. Um, we're in the... I guess go to the library? Where'd you go, Meow? Seaweed head! <laughs> Seaweed head. Everyone stop! Listen for his footsteps and find out where he's going! Shit. What is that noise? It's too loud to make anything out! Hey, I wonder what that is. Saw Midori somewhere? No, look over there. Something's coming close. Uh, another monster. We don't have time for this shit, damn it. Uh, is that a floating book? It's the monster book of monsters. Uh, uh, books attacking us? 
Ah, uh, jeez, in this noisy room too? What in the world? It's okay. It's just a book. Let's calmly deal with it and chase Midori. For now, we need to focus on the obstructor in front of us. Oh, well, that's why they're called obstructors, I guess. The book is floating in midair. Save. I can't think with this noise. Very well. I'll locate the source with my sharp senses. Uh, cancel. I'll sniff out any suspicious smells, meow. Who's afraid of a book? I'll beat him down with my fists. I'll knock over a bookcase and have it crash right onto them. Go with this. There! Alice took a smartphone from a gap between a, uh, below a bookshelf. It's the green one, isn't it? Obtained a noisy smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do you think I've searched for my lost smartphone via notification sounds? I am beyond compare. Yet, it can't be used. Is this a prank? The book is making rustling sounds. The book began circling through the air. Oh, there's more! Another book started floating. Shit. Hey, they're multiplying! I see. Now, this is a pickle. If you've got anything making noise, I'll crush it for you. If you've got anything making noise, I'll crush it for you. Oh, how annoying. Give it to me. I'll pound any noise making garbage into dust. Uh. Can it be used against a book somehow? Oh, don't do that. Let's try this. Oh, oh baby. Yeah, that hurts! Hey, are you alright? Eek, I'm sorry. He didn't go well at all. The books are noisily clacking their teeth. The books began to circle through the air. Yet another book started floating. Shit. They keep on multiplying. Uh, Kana knows where the news is coming from. She'll go get it, but we already have it. But we don't need it. Um... She's so scary looking, but I love her. Smart bro uh, smartphone broke and stopped making noise. I feel a little refreshed now. That's it? The books are flying around as if to show off. The books all went to attack Kayasaka. Wh why is it always me? I was about to say it. It feels like it's always targeting him. Kayasaka quickly hid in a bookshelf to escape the danger. If they're going to attack us, I'll catch them and put them back in the shelves. Ooh, alright. Yeah, go with this. Haha, <laughs> I did it! Gin, I put it away on the shelf. Oh, you're amazing, Meow! Now, sort out the other books too, Wolf! What? Give me a break! I doubt I can do any more than that. Still, I feel like it bought us a little time. The books are looking menacingly at Hayasaka. And he won't do it again. Um... Figured to be no match. <sighs> the hell? Another book just came out. Fudge. Noise are uh, books are noisily clacking their teeth. The books began to circle through the air. Yet another book started floating. Dang it! Uh, shoot. But we already had the phone. Is there another thing that's making noise? Oh, Kana took an alarm clock from the back of a bookshelf. Turned an alarm clock. Huh? How do we stop the noise? The books are flying around, so the books began circling through the air. And another book started floating. Gah! How are we gonna handle this fighting we head on? What annoying books, Meow! Come down and fight Muscle Gorilla fair and square, Meow! That'd be its own can of worms. Is the noise... Okay. I know I should have figured this out sooner. The noise is probably what's controlling the books. 
so we'll destroy the other noisemaker. The alarm clock broke and stopped making noise. How's that? It's in pieces now. The books are slowly floating around as if to survey the surroundings. The books began circling through the air. Uh, there's another one. Yet another book started floating. Doesn't feel like we can win this with sheer force. It's a library. Maybe we should respect good manners. Quiet, then. We would stop if this let's be quiet. Yeah, go with this. On Katie's signal, everyone stopped. So they were like angry angry librarians. The books returned to their original shelves. Be quiet in the library, I suppose. Silence returned to the library. I like how that text was in red. Are you okay, suit and specs? I'm all right. More importantly, where's Midori? He got away. We need to find him quickly, or Sarah's collar. Right, my collar. When I bring my hand near it, a red light shines on my skin. How many minutes passed there? Not good. If I don't hurry, it'll... Huh? Is my collar tightening? Sarah's having a panic attack! <laughs> what? Sarah Chitoin! No. It's my imagination. Yeah, baby, come on. I know. I know, don't I? I've overcome this kind of thing again and again. Again and... I don't want to die. You could never get used to this. <sighs> no. I, I can't look uneasy. My allies are watching. My Nakama. I'm providing everyone support, so I... <laughs> Please, let Kana do it. Kana, didn't you learn your lesson? Don't, don't volunteer for things like this again. I feel a warm hand on my back. When we first met, you calmed me down like this, Sarah. What are you doing, Kana? Stop! It's okay. I don't intend to become a sacrifice. Okay, good. I'm sure we can do something. Let's find Midori, okay? Man, these friggin' death flags. Kana. Well, I respect the attitude, Kana. Keiji gently touched Kana's shoulder. Aw, good! I was like waiting for him to do something because if he didn't. I don't know. Ah! It's Mr. X Policeman's turn. Gotta apprehend the bad guy. That's the ticket, Keiji! Keiji. Haha. <laughs> It's uncouth for adults to make a kid cross a dangerous bridge. Mm -hmm. Now, we need everyone on this. Let's split up again and search. <laughs> you can rely on me. I know the mind of an escaped convict, but you've never escaped on your own power before. You were basically released into the pa hands of this death game. We'll definitely find him. Rawr! Then let's go, Wolf! Everyone, thank you. That was very supportive. Thank you, guys. Man, I have so much affection for these characters. Can I get the books yet? Maybe not. Okay. Oh, okay, now we're all looking around. Not here, huh? Cage's life is on the line. I absolutely have to find him. That serious face is cool and all, but don't get too worked up. Come to think of it, Sarah. Have you seen the library books anywhere? Huh? Is that important? Yeah. Just a little curious. I think I've seen them around. Hmm. Um, there was one in the classroom. In the classroom, I believe. Way to go, so you remember. <laughs> He's trying to be so supportive. Uh, not even a single desk. It's completely empty. KG. Even when he's facing away, it feels like he's watching me. <laughs> Hinako-chan. Maybe he's got eyes on the back of his head. God, such a good pair. Like, they're both so... suspicious. I love it. The inside of the police box is pitch black. Not even a single desk. It's weird, yeah. Okay. 
Should have picked up his scent when I had the chance, Wolf. It seems pretty open, so I can't imagine there's many places you could hide here. this color in the library. Yep. And a green book. Whoa! There's something written in it. Really? Info on our past is a textbook. Take it from him. Don't tell me. It's info on our past? Nah, it's not that look. Hey there! It's me! For death game participants around the nation troubled by obstructors, I bear good tidings! Believe it or not, I'll tell you the weakness of the strongest obstructor doll, Maple! Oh... It's the pancake girl. It's the crevice in her back. Remember this and you'll soon be an obstructor master. One of the obstructor's weaknesses. Annoyingly written, but this is good to know. True. Though I hope we never have to meet the strongest obstructor. It's the psychology one. Psychological obstructor. Move to... This room must be an important place for managing all our flo all of floors four and five. We can't let Midori take it. I'll stay behind. Well, at least here's Anzu. If I see Midori on these secret security cameras, I'll let you know over the PA system. It's not a bad idea. Um, switch the knobs. Don't touch. Uh. Don't tell me what to do. I'll fuck with these if I want to. The monitor isn't responding. So AI won't show itself. Okay. Um let's see. Let's go back downstairs. Oh no wait. Uh let's go back downstairs. The elevator seems to work, but only going down. Can't I go back downstairs? Huh. I guess I should go to the library first. I have a green book too. Insert of the book. Nothing? Not here, huh? Cage's life's on the line. Um, in the discussion room, I believe. Discussion room? You haven't held hands with Hinako yet? I guess your friendly policeman moves a bit slow, believe it or not. <laughs> Sheesh, I'm being serious here. So, how am I supposed to go back downstairs? That's so funny. Um, there's another one here. Ah, uh, it's summarizing that physical exam stuff that was on the computer. Only this computer's turned on. Yellow book from the office on the back says, please return on time. Is that all? Oh, okay. If I click here, it goes back downstairs. All right. Uh, was here. Ah, oh, welcome. So you came back, Sarah. Only pairs can enter this room, right? Mary wouldn't be here. That's exactly why he might be. I guess that's true. A floor master can do whatever. Floor master? You mean Hiori? Uh, right. This is that's his real name. Could you tell us about him? Hiori. Hiori, Hiori. She, she's acting kind of funny, huh? For now, let's search this room. Yeah, give me that book. On the back it says, please return on time. Wouldn't this book be from the library? Seems like it. Obtained a red book. 
Okay. What a shame. Are you going already? Uh, our bad. We're in a hurry. It's okay. You two look busy. It must be hard. Hey, have you become friends? Friends? Yeah, we're allies. We're allies. <laughs> I'm happy you're getting along. Come again. Um... I need another book. I wonder if this will open after we insert all the books in the library. Let's go... Actually, I want to talk to KG and get his other comments, if possible. Uh, discussion room in the office. Where to go, so you remember. Yeah, okay. Red book. I still need a blue book. Sort of the book. But those were the only three options that Keiji mentioned. I don't know. Where to go, Sarah? Even when you don't know, you still say it so boldly. <laughs> Well, he'll just praise me no matter what. <laughs> okay. Great. I still need a blue book, though. This is helpful. Uh, blue book. Blue book. Okay. So there were two books up here, so maybe there are two books on the fourth floor. Maybe I'll check the grave site. Oh! There they are. Thought he might have been right under our noses. I gone back to his coffers, coffin, but guess not. She's so tiny compared to him. We'll definitely find him, Sarah. I'll do my best. Mm. I need a blue book. doing, dude? Kuramada is sticking his head into a hole. There's something in the back of here, but I can't reach it. Oh, maybe it's a blue book. There's something there? It's a blue book. Yes! Says something about returning it on time. If you want your hands on it, bring over that pro wrestler old timer. Kyutaro? I wonder where he is. Yeah, I'll get him. Um, Sarah, I'm a little curious about something. The knife we used for the puzzle here, it isn't lying around anywhere. No? So, does someone have it? Ooh. Mm. I need your help, Kyutaro. Yo, Sarah, you found something? Come to think of it, Kuramata was asking for Kyutaro. Uh, I need you, Kyutaro. We need someone with long arms. No questions, come with me. We... Need you. Kyutaro, we need your help. Might. Don't know what you mean, but leave it to me. Let's get rolling, my. Let's get rolling. Cute. It was. This looks really dark for some reason. Is it my imagination? Oh, oh, because this is the only option we have right now. Okay. So slow. Hurry up and get it. You really gonna talk to me like that? Guitar reached into the hole and got the book. Change a blue book. Ugh, it's sopping wet. Should be able to make some out though. Let's see. When Shin saw me today, he once again gave me a smile and playfully said good morning. 
This is Midori's diary or something? What's this creepy book? A diary? Shin. Sarah, the front cover says Shinskimi AI test data. Oh, AI test data. You don't mean, is this an experiment log Midori wrote? He said he would kill four people and there are four library books, which is interesting. Or, there are four library books that were scattered around. How many total colored books are there in the library? I'll, I have to go back and count them. Um, Sarah, is it okay if Kana strikes that book? Huh? Please, I want to know at least a little more about So. Kana still hardly knows anything about him. She wants to know why So risked his life to protect her. Protect you? Hey now, haven't you guys been voting and killing each other? Oh. Or is he just being an asshole? I thought he was getting wrong information. Don't try and make it some heartwarming story. In the got in the end, you guys forsook that soul guy. Why you shut your trap? It's fine. Ever since Kana came here and got separated from her sister, part of her has been thinking that maybe it'd be easier to just die. But so taught her that you absolutely should lose. There won't be a way unless we believe. <laughs> a real idiot. Is Kana touching his heart too? Is he like a soap 2.0? Kind of. Grr. What the hell do you mean you shouldn't lose? Huh? You mean you gotta win, right? Ain't this a match against Asunaro? A match? Hey, old man Kyutaro. You're an athlete too, so you ought to learn this. He keeps calling Kyutaro old, but they are not that. They don't. Their age difference isn't that big. Mishima was the oldest at 30. Um, out of this group of participants. And so, Kyutaro, at the oldest, at the oldest would probably be 29. But I, I'm thinking he's more closer to like 27 or something. 26, 27. And I guess Kuromata can be like 22. Uh, whatever, he's a punk. Not losing and winning. A completely different things, little missy. Not losing and winning. Okay. It's like a verdict of guilty and... I mean, a verdict of not guilty and innocent. There's a difference. Please don't call me little missy. Uh, like, Ojo-chan? Brat. That's worse! <laughs> Kana. I can't give this to you yet. Sarah. I'm sorry, we might need it for a puzzle. I see. So later, after this game of tag, I want you to investigate it yourself. So that we can win. Yes! <laughs> That's right. First we'll win the game of tag. Let's resume our search, master! Quit it with that already! <laughs> okay. Um, let me count how many- okay, there are uh, sorry. So, there are five red books? Five red books. Seven. Four. So that's eleven. Uh, plus, is this five? So that's sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's twenty- that's twenty-one books. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there are 21 books, and there are 20 participants. But, but, Kai said that there was an extra file that was deleted and then returned, and that's Sohiori's, uh, the real Sohiori's file, which is Midori. So there's, so actually there should be one book for every single death game participant. Maybe. I think that's what's going on here. There's an unnatural gap in the blue books. I have a blue book too. Insert into gap. Insert of the book. Oh, here we go. 
Staircase? What's this? Heard a heck of a sound. What's this? Stairs? Midori might be up there. Sarah senpai go on ahead. We'll call everyone over the PA. All right, let's move Sarah. Idiot, my head's going to fly off. You watch here that Midori doesn't escape until the broadcast ends. <laughs> okay, she was just gonna separate from Hinako, like, no big deal. Roger that. <laughs> he wants to go with Sarah so bad. And he's like, uh, we just gotta hurry, we just gotta go, Sarah. Uh, right. We won't let him get away again. Staircase of bookshelves. We haven't seen Midori in any of the other rooms, so... Go. Ooh, interesting. Midori. <laughs> so you came. Well, are you done passing around that dirty role of being it? His music is so, like, it's such a banger. Gah. And it's also funny. Uh, that's not it at all. It was sublime. That's not it at all. We're all allies. Is that so? That's perfect in its own way. How beautiful. More importantly, just checking, but... A gun is against the rules of tag, right? Sure. As long as you're going to follow the rules. Kept us waiting, Midori. We, we won't let you run anymore. <laughs> Your life says a runaway is over. I won't forgive you, even if you apologize, meow. Now this is troubling. You're being disturbingly cocky. No, I really am troubled. Because look, I don't even have a collar to play tag with. What about your spare? Uh, what do you mean? Do, meow. Even if we tag him, there's no point, woof. I thought you were gonna put on a spare, Midori. No, no way. Aha, uh -huh. I did say you should have given me back that collar, didn't I? What will you do? If you give it back, I'll put it on. But of course, only once you leave here. Slowly. Or else, do you want us to kill each other violently after all? Take your pick, Miss Sarah. That was such a... <clears throat> Shinsukimi way of saying that line. Enough. What is it, Keiji? It's just strange, isn't it? It's too good to be true. Feels like you've got something planned. Planned, you say? I can't see this futile chase as anything but a time waster. Midori, I wonder if you're waiting for something to happen within us. Within? Uh, our bodies? Are you trying to see the destruction of the group within? Fudge. Within our bodies? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> You're dim witted, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, KG. That makes me feel so much better. I mean, our allies. Fuck off, KG. Do the dummies have some other objective? That's right. Ultimately, they're assassins sent by Midori. Maybe they have some kind of mission. They're in cahoots with Midori Meow? But they dealt with the same dangerous traps. That's true. Come to think of it, why aren't Kyotaro and Mai here? Fuck! It can't be. Is the dummies aim to... Let's hurry and find Muscle Gorilla Meow! Uh, it pains me to say this, but now's not the time to worry about Midori. Mm. I guess I have to return this way. I don't... Okay. I guess we have to look at the monitors. The monitors display all the places we've been, like the cemetery and the library. Where, where's Kyutaro? Big sis Sarah. What? 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 Where? 
The graves are... Yes? I looked up at the monitor showing the cemetery. Yes? What's going on? Fucking my... Ugh. Mr. Kyutaro! Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, Master! You... I was always thinking of when to do it. Why would you... <laughs> I'll tell you, the true objective was dummies. To kill our partner before Midori dies. That's the only way we can survive! Uh, uh. Have the dummies been waiting for an opportunity from the start? <laughs> Such a terrible rule, isn't it? Big Sis Sarah, we have to go! Yeah, to Kyutaro! Wonder if he'll make it. We ran as fast as we could. Nearly tripping over ourselves, we headed for the cemetery where Kyutaro was. A large knife stabbed into his back. The blood pouring out was burned into my mind. It's okay. If anyone can survive that, it's Kyutaro. <sighs> Kyutaro! Muscle Gorilla! Where are you, Meow? Oh shit. It's okay. I'm alright. Kyutaro! Never been more glad about working on my body than today, I tell ya. How'd she screw that up? What a moron. To get killed before you could even. I ain't killed her. Huh? Just knocks her away a little. She probably just shut down. What the? You didn't kill her? Are you stupid? Why would you go easy on her? She seriously meant to take your life. That ain't what she really thinks. What? That goes for all you guys, right? Midori's got your lives in his hands, so you're just being forced to do this, right? We're the same, you and us. Except they're already dead. Well, I guess since they are AI, they are alive in their own way. Kyutaro. Just stop this. I'm sick of us pinning death on each other. Oh, Kyutaro has such has had such a good character development. Cause uh, in that one um, game over where he completely abandoned us to save his own skin. Man. I was so friggin' betrayed when that happened. And uh, I guess a little- a part of me is still a little bit bitter about it, but I mean, I still like all these characters, and he's grown since then. Which is really nice to see. I'm sick of us pinning death on each other. Work with us, dummies. What are you saying? We won't do nothing to you guys. Hinako! So, let's get through this. You guys too! Don't be stupid! Didn't you hear the rules? One or the other has to die! We- Is doing as you're told gonna lead to victory? We're gonna win, right, Kurumada? If somebody turns traitor, how are we going to see victory? We all gotta believe, or no miracle's gonna happen. We... gonna become true allies now. Can... Can someone bandage Kyutaro up now? He's probably still bleeding, guys. Kyutaro... is crying! Not from the pain of his wound. His heartfelt cry shaking the room. Let me treat that Kyutaro. Uh, well, he does have an abundance of bandages. Ramaru, idiot! How can you fall for that? Oh, shut up. Shoot. 
We have nothing to use for treatment, but I wonder if we can do something. All I've got is this hood, but should I tear it up to help stop the bleeding? You're all such idiots. I mean, why not? These guys are interesting. Seriously now. You picturing defying us and winning, little Miss Middle Schooler? Shut up! I'm trying to think. Because it's interesting, right? Because these guys are still participants. If they had lived through the first trial, they'd still they'd be on our side. Alright. The bleeding stopped. It ain't as bad as it looks. Doesn't really seem that way to me. KG. Sit down. At least get some rest. My can't move either. You can't leave an ally behind, right? <laughs> you got that right. If we find anything for medical treatment, we'll bring it right away. Don't sweat that. Focus on doing what you gotta do. Y yeah. I feel it. A sense of unity. Trust in the truest sense. Kutaro has connected himself. He's bonded with us. At last. Now, it's about time to end this game of tag. Gotta catch Midori. Figure something out. Right. Why is she turned off? I mean, if worse comes to worse, they can just, you know, take a few steps away from the dummies. Maya's completely motionless. Even seeing her like this, I can only picture her as human. Ow. I figured that treatment alone wouldn't. It's alright, sir. Kyutaro. Uh, no need to search. Tag is over. You put on a spare collar? Showing yourself as boldly as always. Gonna flaunt that gun again? No trust at all, huh? Fine, I'll give it to you. Midori took something out of his pocket and tossed it toward Keiji. No! No! He has trauma! Fuck you, Midori! You asshole! This is... Gah. It's my... Why do you have the one from... <gasps> Katie suddenly began writhing. What is this? Uh, he's he looks like he's gonna puke, dude. Looks he's he's about to hurl. Why do you Huh? Did I bring back some bad memories? Huh. So that's why you sought to join the force. Then, was your goal to become a friendly neighborhood policeman? No, I, I just wanted to return it as promised. His good luck charm. <laughs> then go and give it to him. If he's still police, you'll see him soon. Right. His name was... Uh-huh. Him. Huh? No, that won't be possible. What the fudge? Huh? He left the force. I'm sorry. Is, is that so? Even though he had his child, I suppose he took another path. Uh, uh. Huh? What's happened to Keiji, I wonder? Nice, complete motionless. Okay. Midori! Don't overexert yourself. Yeah. <sighs> ah, that guy, huh? Yeah, he quit. Sure enough. So he was your co-worker? Yep. But I wouldn't get involved with him. Huh? It's hard to say it here, but... He was fired for trying to expose a certain darkness among the police. Mm. He was always devoted to justice, so he could be a parent his kid would look up to. A 
darkness. What exactly was that? Dunno. If I did, I might get fired too. Well then, who had him fired? It was... Miss Megumi. You keep an eye on her too, so long as you want to stay with the police. My head... Ugh. Did he not remember this before? Is that what's going on? It triggered a memory? <laughs> Shit. This feels like such a death flag! Uh, calling all units. The suspect has a gun. No civilians present. You are authorized to fire. Don't let him flee the scene. There's nowhere to run! Drop your gun! Ugh. Ah! Damn it! He's lost his cool! I'll fire a warning shot. We need to stop him! Keiji, watch out! He's gonna shoot! But he was unarmed. He was unarmed, though. Keiji shot an unarmed person, we know that. That friggin' officer that lied to him! Shit! Huh? That can't be. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't aiming for- Keiji, are you okay? You fucking bitch. You killed him and pinned it on me. Or, may or you totally gaslighted me into thinking I did it. Or the whole police force gaslighted KG into believing that he did it. I'm... I'm alright, but uh, the suspect... Huh? I shouldn't have noticed. I shouldn't have seen his face. Oh sh shit! No way. This is fucking traumatic. Nanki Dai, why would you draw this? Oh my god! I. Uh, uh, what a strange thing. Turns out the criminal didn't have a gun. Yeah. There were no witnesses, so Megumi used her position to suppress the incident. She wanted to hide the murder of a subordinate as self-defense. Why do you know? How much of a grasp do you have on the police? How much indeed? Enough to feed false info about the gun. And enough to insert a fired policeman into your tragic story, maybe? Keiji, watch out! He's gonna shoot! <laughs> Just as good as an actor as I was then, aren't I? You mother! <laughs> I see. So that's it. Kill you. I'm going to kill you! Well, you seem motivated. <laughs> oh, gosh. oh my gosh! Shit. Is Keiji gonna die in this chapter section? Uh, how nice hatred is. It lets me satisfy a person. A hundred percent. What the hell does that supposed to mean? Now you die, Midori! <laughs> Let us play! On the greatest of stages. His eyes are red. What is this? What the frick? A graveyard for broken dolls! Oh, dude. It's gross looking. Midori and Keiji are glaring at each other. Hey, don't be hasty, Keiji Shinogi. Let's use our numbers to corner him. Oh, boy. Okay. First off, fucking save. Okay. Uh, observe the situation. Midori and Keiji are glaring at each other. Oh, that's it? Okay. Rage! Uh, Keiji Shinogi, 
fire at that man. Uh huh. So Alice is all for murder. He's like, kill him, kill him, kill him. Keiji, Kana will block his escape. Please tag Midori. Oh wow, they're really supportive, huh? I'll look for something to use as a weapon, meow. Oh. I don't really like the idea of having the kitties around. You've got the shovel back. Found it, Wolf. Use this meow. Obtained a broken shovel. No, this is no use as a weapon. Mm, I'll look for something better, meow. Maybe we can catch your glaring hand. Um, um, dummies, won't you assist? Hold on, if Midori really dies from tag, what's gonna happen to us? Huh? Well, you can't say we're unified. You can say we're unified, but Keiji's seriously aiming to kill him. But if we lose, Keiji will... It's no use, he's too fast for Kana to keep up. We need to work together more. Midori and Keiji are glaring at each other. And Kyutaro is like down. Keiji, it won't turn out very well if you shoot me in anger, you know. Midori kicked a doll head that was lying around at Keiji. Keiji took a direct hit and lost his balance. Keiji! Damn it, Midori! Keiji's not in good condition. I need to calm him down. Fuck. Midori isn't paying attention to me. I'll approach him from his blind spot. Dude, you're, you're hurt. Sit the F down. What should I do? Down. <sighs> Thank you. I can still do this. KG. Oh. Meter and KG are glaring at each other. Dummies, fight with us already, meow! Suit and specs! Man. I don't know, this doesn't feel like a good idea. Hinako! The bullet went flying off in the wrong direction. Hey! hey! Hinako, what are you doing? I won't give in. I can't let you kill Midori. Gah. Midori and Keiji are glaring at each other. Why don't you give up already and tag Sarah, Keiji? Why? How is this situation in any way connected to me? Why are you trying to... Okay. Alright, asshole. Let's see if there are any other weapons. Nothing. Wow! I can't find the torch anywhere, wolf! <laughs> Did you intend to burn me with it? Don't bluff, seaweed head. All creatures are weak to fire, meow. I'm a dolgen. Yeah? What? What? Dolls can't burn? They totally can. Sure enough, I can't cooperate with you. I don't want to die. Everyone stop this. Anzu. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> Kutaro. Please don't. Don't agitate your wounds too much. He's crawling on the ground, baby. I'm close. It's okay. I won't let him notice me. Give me the signal when it's a good time. I'll grab his leg. Midori and Keiji are glaring at each other. We're nearly out of time, you know. What will you do, Keiji? Fudge. I can at least block Midori's escape. Fire again, KG. Yeah. <laughs> KG threw up from sheer pain. Yeah. <laughs> What's happened to you? 
<laughs> you fired once, didn't you? Trauma conquered. Take him just like you did then. Go for it! Go for it! <laughs> Cage collapsed and dropped the gun on the floor. How can you talk of his trauma? Keiji's downed and having trouble moving. Sigh. So our fun game of tag is over. Bye bye, Keiji. Wait. Calm him down. Thank you. I can still do this. Keiji's color started acting differently. The sound. Ooh. Wow, that death flag was no joke, huh? Gah. No! Sarah, I... Keiji! His face pale. He loses balance and backs away. Our dependable Keiji is trembling. No human can beat the fear of death. No. No, I don't want this. Can't I do anything? I'll tag him. KG, give me your hand! Sorry. That's the one thing I don't want to do. KG! My coffin was in just the right spot. Let me out! Midori! No! Keiji! Keiji! Hey, I'll let you in on something neat, Miss Sarah. These coffins come with a very handy feature. Ta da They can cremate right on the spot! Fuck you, dude. You mean, he'll be burned? The timer's already running! If you aren't quick, he'll soon be steak. Let him out! Mr. Policeman's gonna die! So, here's my suggestion as floor master. I never said that losing at tag meant death, did I? If you would hear out just one wish of mine, I'll tell you a way you can save KG. What's your wish? I'll have you sign that consent form. She's the only one who didn't sign it, right? That's the feeling I'm getting. That sheet is the last one. Once you sign it, it'll be complete. The last one? There's definitely something up. Oh no. But what other choice do I have? There's no other way to save Keiji. The rest... The rest is up to you. Answer my request and save Keiji. Or stick to your intentions and kill Keiji. Choose whichever you like, Sarah. Final chapter, part one. Section A, end. Ah! This is as far as the story currently goes. Save your progress? Yeah. Thanks for playing. Holy shit. I mean, we all knew that KG was Mr. Death Flag. <laughs> like, since the very beginning. So... Damn. Wow. I'm super fucking into it, man. We learned so much about his backstory and his horrific, horrific trauma. More about Asanaro and the other uh, dummies. I'm really looking forward to part B, part one. I'm expecting it to split off into another path again. Maybe KJ will die this time. Although I'm really hoping that he does survive up until the final chapter- uh, well, 
the final, final chapter. Chapter 3, Part 2. I'm hoping he survives up until that point, but it might be a choice. Maybe this path will be uh, where either Keiji or Jin or Kyutaro die. Mm, we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Ta-ta for now, until Part B comes out. Bye-bye!